why do men cheat? Different men have different reasons for having extramarital affairs. I never imagined myself to be one of those men that cheat on their wives until I met my side chick, who turned out to be everything I expected my wife to be, but she is not. You have changed up and not in its opponent. I wonder how we even got here. I made a mistake because no I should have listened when they told me I wonder how we ended Such a real life sleeping beauty. I can't believe I'm going to be waking up to that her face from now on. Beautiful, classy, clean, neat woman. Like her personal hygiene is just top notch. The way she takes care of herself, her underwear, even down there, no wonder I keep going down on her, even though I said I wasn't going to do it again. I can't help myself, baby, it's so clean. Mm. It really does smell like candy. It definitely doesn't smell like candy anymore. She hasn't even washed this place from yesterday. Look at this pot that she used to cook days ago. It's still lying here. Like, what, what kind of. Baby, yeah. food is ready. Okay. How do I look? Good.
Yeah. Babe, yeah. you're cleaning the kitchen. Yes, I just want to quickly wash the plates. You're going to be late for work. Baby, mm? don't worry, I'm almost done. I'll go in and dress up now. What would you like to have for lunch and dinner? I can bring lunch to your office if you want. Babe, I, I, I don't like the way you stress yourself coming home in the afternoon to make lunch for me and then bring it to my office and then go back to work. It's a lot of work. Okay, honey, you need to have the most important meal of the day. Oh, wait, wait, I thought breakfast was the most important meal of the day. So it's lunch. But still, I don't like the way you're stressing yourself, okay? Baby. I'm going to grab lunch at the office and then when I get back and you're still here, you can have a nice dinner. Mmm, right? okay. You're still going to be here when I get back, right? If you want me to. Yes, I do want you to. As a matter of fact, why don't you just move in? What? Yes, I mean, I love having you around and I'm sure you love being around me as well. So why don't you just move in and save yourself all the rent money? Mm -hmm. Baby, I don't think it's a good idea. I mean, what will my parents think if they hear that I moved in with a man who is yet to pop the question? Right. Look, just think about it, okay? That's all. Mm. I sure will. <laughs> oh. 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 It smells so nice. I just want to eat you. Baby, up. stop. Go, 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 go. You're almost late for work. Just go. See you later. All okay? right, darling. I love you. I love you too. Bye. 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 Um. <laughs> <sighs> I look at you and wonder where the other you have gone to. What is it? I just went to the kitchen to make myself breakfast to eat before going to work. You can't fix yourself common breakfast. Eh? Ufoma's sleep must be interrupted before you go to work, Abby. The, the plates are dirty. Even the pot I used to cook days ago is still laying there in the sink unwashed. Is it the pot or the plate that is your problem? Or breakfast? Which one? The kitchen is, is horribly dirty. Every, everywhere is just untidy. Oh, is the kitchen now that is your problem, not pots or plates? Hmm? Oh, this one, you're not even mentioning breakfast. That means you're not hungry. You just want to start fights this morning. You know what, never mind. All right, I am so sorry to disturb you. I'm just going to grab myself something to eat on my way to work. Oh, Jesse, you know you can grab yourself something to eat. And you came here to disturb my beauty sleep. Jesse, please, be cool. I just want to meditate. Don't disturb me. What has gotten into this girl? It's as if she's she's become a completely different person from, from the woman that, that used to wake up very early in the morning to make breakfast and tidy the house, clean the kitchen, clean everywhere even before she goes to work. Now that she doesn't even work anymore, she cannot lift a finger. No cooking, no cleaning, can't even tidy up the house that we live in together. Of course I knew this woman. What? So you really want to marry a former? Yes. Why? What do you mean, why? You barely even know her. I mean, you guys have dated for like, what? Six months? And you want her to spend the rest of her life with you? What exactly is wrong with that? It's too soon! And that's what is wrong with that. Marriage is not a joke. It's a big deal. It's not something you rush into. Well, I mean, it doesn't take much to get to know someone these days. Besides, we've been together for six wonderful months. So yes, I believe in my heart that she's the one that I want to spend the rest of my life with. Ah, Jason, 
You can never know anybody. Any woman for that matter. A lifetime is not enough to know a woman. Well, you see, that is where you're wrong. Yes, because I know my baby. She's the most hardworking. She's beautiful. She's smart. Oh. She's intelligent. She's clean. She's sexy. Besides, I know people who have met, dated, and gotten married in the space of three to four months. So what are you saying? And then they divorce before you end. Because they realize they rushed into it. Look, I knew that you were going to try to talk me out of this. I, I knew that. I actually came prepared. But you see, I've already made up my mind. I'm not going to let you or anyone else for that matter talk me out of popping the question this evening. And if I'm lucky and she says yes, the wedding is happening. Guess what? You're going to be there because <laughs> you don't have a choice. Look, Jason. I know you think you found the right someone. But I'll advise. Relax, mm -hmm. take up some time and get to know this girl. Mm -hmm. Study her, mm -hmm. get to know her true colors. Mm -hmm. You see, ask her to even move in with mm -hmm. you. You need to know her very well before you ask her to marry you. You know, when people come closer, mm -hmm. you get to know their true colors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I applaud you, I applaud you. But look, thank you so much for the advice. I actually really do appreciate it. But like I said, I know the woman that I've been dating for the last six months. Okay. I'm convinced in my heart mm. that she's the right one for me and I'm going to marry her. Okay? Let me tell you something. Yeah, Marriage shouldn't be based on the wrong reasons. <laughs> marry for one matter, like true love. Mm. <laughs> like, you be, be honest with yourself. This is not what you really want. But I would advise, my dear, you see, don't marry for reasons like her body, great sex and all that. That would die of two months into marriage. Oh, wait, have you, have, you, have, you, have you seen my wife? You see, I, I'm calling her wife for you because that's what she is. But have you seen, oh. have you taken your time to look at her body? I can't look at her. She's there your wife. There is no way on earth I'm going to get tired of that in a lifetime. She's like the epitome of perfection. Then I wish you well. I wish you well, Jason. See, now you're talking. Now you're you sounding well. like the supportive friend you should be sounding like. Okay. I'm okay. supposed to try to discourage me. <laughs> yeah? That's what you want now. I wish yes. you were the best. That's I what you needed to do. That is all. Okay. Okay. Let me get the road, Jerry. Uh, you'll be at Michael's place later in the evening. Yeah, sure thing. All right, now. See you. I'll see you, brother. All right. All right. Babe? Yeah? I didn't complete the juice the other day. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> so, the lady went on a lunch date with a guy. Mm -hmm. After they finished eating, the guy ordered an Uber, dropped the girl off, and went home. Yeah. Guess what? What? <laughs> Come in. The lady just went back to the restaurant, entered her car, and left. <laughs> Hello, Ufama. Hi, you But, Jason, there? do you have a minute? Um. Okay. There's something I want to show you in my room, please. Could you come and see it? All right, please. Babe, I, uh, I'll be right back. Okay. What are we doing outside? I thought you said you wanted to show me something in your room. I wanted to speak to you, but I didn't want her to hear us. Who? Ufama? Yes. Okay. She's the one I want to speak to you about. <laughs> Uncle Paul told me you're planning to pop the question. Paul told you? Yes. What were you guys talking about that the topic came up? It's not like we're gossiping you. But he's interested in exploring, so he Okay, let me guess. He wants you to be his middle woman. Something like that. Okay. So tell me, is it true? Well, I mean, yes, it's true. But don't you think it's too soon? I mean, you barely know her, brother Jason. See, now you're starting to sound like Paul. Well, I think he's right for telling you to slow down with the proposal. I mean, what do you know if this guy is really who she claims to be? All this waking up in the morning, forming wife material, girls can't form me. You'll be very, very surprised that it's just to make you pop the question. That's why she's waking up in the morning, cleaning, cooking, doing all these things. Look, I honestly think that you and Paul are wrong about Ufama, okay? She's the one for me and this is happening, whether you guys like it or not. So if you don't mind, I'd like to go back inside. Thank you very much. Just I know one you I've heard you. Thank you. Man, I wish I 
wish I'd listen to him. I really wish I'd listen to him. You are not still here since 30 minutes that I called you. I mean, you should have just, you should have just told me that you, you're not going to make it so I just get myself another taxi. What stupid traffic is holding you? I mean, where are you? Oh, please don't tell me that nonsense. God, I need to get myself another taxi now. Get myself another taxi now. Uh, sorry, excuse me. Yes. So sorry to bother you, but I was just driving by and I, I saw that you, I don't know, you seem quite upset like something was wrong. Is, is everything okay? No, my cab guy, he's delaying. I have a very important meeting to be at right now. And he's nowhere here. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, Look, I don't know, if you don't mind, I could drop you off. It's fine. Why will you want to do that for someone you don't even know? Well, you seem like you need the help, but, but if not, I don't, I don't want to impose. I'm just trying to help, that's all. A ride would be nice. Okay, all right, well, let's go then. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, looks like we're here. <sighs> I'm five minutes early. I really don't know how to thank you. Um, do you have a card? Can I call sometimes over lunch to really show my appreciation? Yeah, sure, sure. I, uh, yes, I think I should have one. Yeah, there you go. Hmm. I definitely will give you a call. I will be expecting that. Ah, thank you so much. You're welcome. I'm just glad I could help. Oh, thank you. Yeah, Bye. Yeah, have a good day. Hello? Hi there, um, this is Susan, the lady you saved our ass this morning. Oh, yeah, Susan, that's your name. Oh, I wasn't expecting your call this soon. Well, that's because I have something for you. Do you think we can meet up to talk about it in a few minutes, depending on where you are at the moment? Uh, okay, that, that's fine, that's fine. Um, where are you? I'm just outside um, La Juju's Law Firm building. Oh, I'm literally just a few blocks away from there. Okay, I will meet you there in like two minutes. Okay, all right, bye. Okay. I can't make it anymore. Something came up. 
Not to worry, it's, it's fine, it's okay. Alright, it's, it's fine. Um, wait, remember the meeting I mentioned to you about, right? Well, it's about the property my company is trying to acquire and um, I checked your complimentary card and found out that you were into the real estate business. Is that correct? Well, I spoke to them about you and they asked me to tell you if you can help us with some properties. Oh, nice. Um, can we please meet up tomorrow so I can show you some samples? Is that possible? Oh, thank you. And also, is it possible we also see some locations tomorrow too? Oh. Oh, thank you so much, Jesse. Bye. <sighs> Mm -hmm. Hi. Hello, uh, welcome. What's the meaning of this? You could have done all of this inside that plate as opposed to just littering the whole place. Is that why you refuse to drop money for food? Even though I mentioned to you that I want to go to the market to get some groceries. It skip my mind. Why well. won't it skip your mind? I don't matter to you anymore. Look, can we not do this right now, please? Do what, Jason? No, do what? You can't handle the truth. Eh? Why are you shying away from the truth? Jason, I'm talking to you. I'm not done. Jason! Jason, I am talking to you. Jason, you're ignoring me. You're ignoring me. You're ignoring me. This is what you do these days. Ignore me as if I'm blabbing. Look, how much do you need for everything? This is not about how much I need. So what is this about? Because look, I've had a long day and I don't want to quarrel, please. Why do you always make me feel like I am the problem? Nobody is the problem. Okay, just let me know how much you need and I'll transfer the money to you right now. 50,000 naira. There. Sense. Can I have some peace now? I didn't cook anything, no. Because you are completely out of food stuff. So if you want to eat, just go outside and get yourself something to eat in peace. It's you and wonder where the other you the lovely woman So these places are still here till now. What does she even do with herself during the day? What, do, what does she even do? Justin. Hey. What are you doing here by this time of the night? Um, I actually came to grab some dinner. Dinner? Don't your wife cook? Um, how... I mean, how did you know that I, uh... You know, I'm, I'm married? 
Well, I saw you trying to hide your wedding ring the other day. Wow, you saw that. I am mm -hmm. officially very embarrassed. Uh, look, the, the truth is we, um, we, we are not together anymore. We actually, we're separated. Yeah, so that's the reason there's no one to make dinner for me and I'm here. Yeah. Oh, I see. So what are you having? I actually haven't decided. I mean, if you're not in a rush, maybe you could help me choose. Okay, fine. Yeah? Yes. Okay, let's do it. This is where I live. Okay, seems very calm and quiet. And very secured. That's one of the things I love about the neighborhood. Okay. Well, I, uh, I wanted to say that I had a really good time tonight and a really good laugh as well. <laughs> you know, I actually don't remember the last time I laughed this hard. Really? <laughs> yes. So, thank you for making my day slash night. You're all as welcome, Jason. Good night. Please do call me so I know you're safe when you get home. I will do that. Bye. 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 Didn't even bother to, to wait for me to get back. Didn't even bother to know if I eventually got the food. Nothing. Just went straight to sleep. And I'm sure she has not even showered. Yeah, I just got home now. I see he has washed the dishes. He should have waited for his house girl to do it for him. Hey. 
Hello? Don't tell me you're still sleeping. How do you mean? What are you doing? I'm getting ready to go to the market. Is there any reason for this call? Or you just want to find fault on who for my side? I just called to check in. Look, there's this uh, contract a friend of mine is trying to help me secure and I think that I'm, I'm going to get it, but I'm not sure yet. Mm, good for you. I have to go. Okay. This deco has been doing nonsense. Let me just remove it and fix it when I have the time. Hey! Can you imagine? Hey, yes, look, I got the contract. Yes, I got the contract. <laughs> ah, thank you, thank you so, so much. I can't even thank you enough. Thank you. <laughs> okay. All right. Mama. Susan! <laughs> oh my god, how have you been? I'm good. Like, oh, <laughs> hey, long time. Oh my god, <laughs> oh my oh. god. it's been like 10, 15. Uh -huh, actually, no, 12 years. 12 years? Yes. And we've not seen each other. I know, it's been like quite a long time ago. <laughs> oh my god. So, what are you doing here? I thought you live in Lagos. Yes, actually, my company transferred me a few weeks ago here. Oh, so you are now Abuja Bay. <laughs> Looks like it, but um, I heard you got married last year when I went to London to complete a course that I went yes. there for. Mm -hmm. So, tell me, how is the married life treating you? Mm, good. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, I think I can see that. Yeah. <laughs> um, we should exchange numbers. Yeah. Ha! Fine girl. <laughs> oh my! You mean the way you're taking care of yourself, you here. Really so, of course. What to do? <laughs> Look at your hair. <laughs> Thank you. This is when I'm <laughs> Ufa, Ma. All right there. We should catch up one of these days. Sure. I'll, I'll call you. All right. Bye. 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 Babe, oh, look, I got you your favorite chocolate and the more.
No, not today. Definitely not today. Hey, Jason. What's going on? Are you still at the office? No. Came home not quite long. Uh, is it okay if I come over to celebrate the success with you? I have nobody here to celebrate it. Oh, sure. That would be great. Do you like red wine? Or a vodka? Whiskey kind? <laughs> red wine is fine, though I prefer shots. So whiskey or vodka shots? Vodka. Okay, bye. He's coming over with trains. I need to go get ready. I'm coming. Hey, come in. Hey, thank you. You're welcome to my little home. Oh, wow, uh, it's very tasteful. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, please, do come have a seat. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, you, you look amazing. Oh, I do? Yeah, and you, you smell really nice. Thanks, Jay. Okay, Jay. Yeah, I can call you that, right? Well, of course. I, I mean, no one has ever called me a pet name, so why not? Oh, uh, I got these. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Um, I have to get some glasses for this. Okay. I'll be right back. <laughs> This is what a home is, is supposed to smell like, fresh. Not, not my house, like that woman has turned the whole place into a marketplace. It smells like... I don't even know. Um, do you know what? I forgot something in the car, so I will just quickly dash down and get it, alright? I, I won't take long. You call me chocolates. <laughs> well, I figured that you were the chocolates kind of girl. <laughs> Jay, he seems to know a lot about me, even without me accent. You mind reader or something. <laughs> well, I wish that I was. But anyway, uh, here. Thank you. Cheers to uh, more success and thank you for being uh, the most amazing person that I've met in recent times. Oh, thank you. Cheers. Cheers. You cannot cheat. Cheat? How? Yes, I've had like six shots and you're far behind it. Hey, your turn. Look, if there's anyone here who's cheating, it's you. No, 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 no. That's <laughs> enough. Here. Yeah. Fine. Oh. Hey, we still have three more to go. <coughs> and you've got eight more to go. Eight? Yeah. Wait, are you trying to get me drunk? <laughs> Look around you, we're in your place. So even if you get drunk, you're safe, right? I'm the one who should be afraid of getting drunk because I still have to drive home. <clears throat> well, we could spend the night here. You, you, you would let me do that? Yes. What's the worst that could happen if we spend the night here?
<sighs> I can't. I can't believe you just did that. It was so good. <sighs> Do you want to go again? Absolutely. <laughs> I've been meaning to ask you, why did you guys separate? Huh? Yeah, you and your wife. Oh, um... I... I, I guess she was not who I thought she was. What do you mean? She... She became the direct opposite of the person that I fell in love with. Do we have to talk about this right now? Okay, maybe later. Mm -hmm. So what now? Well, what now is I take this from you first. And... Ah, no. Yes. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I have never seen someone as horny as you, Jason. <laughs> Seems like you've been starve obsessed for years. Well, yes, I um, I have been actually. I mean, the last person that I had sex with was my wife and that was a long, long time ago. Wait, you guys stopped having sex before the separation? We stopped doing a lot of things before the separation. <sighs> was it that bad? Uh, yes, it was. So why did you guys even get married in the first place? Well, you know how they say that we can't predict the future, right? That was what happened to us. And while we were dating, she was everything that any man would wish for in a woman. Tell me, how did you guys meet? As fate would have it, I ran into the woman of my dreams one beautiful afternoon, unexpectedly. Excuse me. Hey. Yes, yeah, so, uh, so sorry to bother you. Um, I'm trying to find a restaurant around here. The map seems to be dragging me in all directions. I, I don't know if you know of anyone around this neighborhood. Um, there's a restaurant down the road. Just straight down, then you take your right. Just straight down this road? Yes. Oh, thank you very much, I appreciate it. You're welcome. You smell nice. Thank you. I, I recognize the scent. Do you? Yes, I uh, happen to know a lot about perfumes. How? Well, my sister, she, uh, she deals with perfumes and she's an addict. Yes. Addict? <laughs> yeah, she's got like hundreds of them in her house. That's how I managed to know a lot about them. Oh, wow, that's nice. <laughs> I'm Jason, by the way. Ufoma. Good to meet you. Pleasure is all mine. Okay. Yeah. Um, I don't know which way you're headed. I don't mind dropping you off. <laughs> I'm going to the office. Although it's close to the restaurant you're looking for. Wait, same way? Yeah, same way. What are the odds? I could drop you off if you don't mind. <sighs> well, I don't mind. It's fine. Okay. Let's Thank you it. so much. No, you're welcome. Thank you. <laughs>
while I gave her a ride back to her office. I asked her for her number and surprisingly she gave me her number and that was the beginning of what I thought was a match made in heaven. Putting a call through to her later that night, I asked her out for lunch the following day. After a few beautiful lunch and dinner dates, I asked her to be my girlfriend and she accepted and we started dating. It was the most beautiful experience because she made it so by being so perfect. Morning, beautiful. Good morning, baby. You know, you look so beautiful when you're asleep. You know, you look even more beautiful when you're asleep. Mm. Don't flatter me. I'm serious. I mean, just looking at you right now is, you know, making my body feel some type of way. Mm -hmm. Baby, stop. <laughs> you know what? What? Just give me a second, I'll be right back. Thank you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Big daddy. <laughs> mm. 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 You smell so nice. Thank you. I've got a surprise for you. What are you doing? Let me see. What are you doing? Ah, stop! What is he doing? <laughs> Wait. You go down on a woman? Why do you sound so surprised? Yes, because I didn't peg you to be the kind of guy that is into head giving. Receiving, maybe. <laughs> but a giver, never. Well, excuse me. I would have you know that I'm the kind of guy who believes in equal pleasure. Yes, I like to please just as much as I like being pleased. All right, It's only fair that the woman also enjoys as much as I'm enjoying. I mean, it's not rocket science. It's that simple. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So, he gave her a head and she loved it. Of course she did. Of course she also reciprocated and things were fine. At least for a while. Up until we said I do and it just it felt like 
I just got a different person entirely. Welcome. Yeah. Um, how was your day? Fine. Okay. Um, I'll go for sure. Okay. She stopped taking care of herself and she started to have body odor. she even brushed today? Are you okay? Uh, yes. Um, fine. I just, I just really need to quickly use the bathroom. I will be right back. Just give me. Isn't that the underwear she wore last night? She's still wearing it out without washing it. She doesn't wipe that place after urinating, so when she sits down and opens her legs, the entire room just gets polluted. it that was the last time I ever touched her before we parted ways I I just couldn't stand to disgust anymore did you did you try talking to her about it well let's just say that she's not as open-minded as you or at least as I think you are you know with you I feel like I can talk to you about anything sex whatever but with her <sighs> No. I mean, she doesn't even like to talk about sex with me. You know, the few times that I tried to have the conversation with her, she always took offense and then we ended up fighting again. I don't even know why some women are like that. You know, I gave up completely when I overheard her on the phone one time talking to her friend and she she said that she's she's off the market and she's not even trying to impress me anymore because we are married now and we're stuck together forever, so there is no need to put in the work, make any effort, and nothing of the sort. Wait, that was her excuse for neglecting herself? A twisted mindset. <laughs> I can only imagine what you've been through before finally deciding to let her go. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Look, anyway, enough about me, all right, and my estranged wife. You, please tell me why a beautiful and successful woman such as yourself is single. I mean, I assume that you are, right? Well, yes. Let's just say I haven't found the right guy yet. Mm -hmm. The ones I dated were a bunch of asses. Seriously? Yes. Wow. But how did you even manage to kiss them? Because I can't really picture you kissing ass. <laughs> You're so silly. I know. But seriously though, I mean, it's a shame. I mean, what man in their right mind would have you and not see your beauty and how unique that you are? You think I'm unique? No, I don't think that you're unique. I know that you're unique. But you don't even know me that much. Well, the little that I know tells me that 
you know, you're one of the real ones. Mm. Okay. Jason. Mm. Jason. Yes. No. Yes. And I should not be expecting any breakfast from her this morning because she will not wake up till at least noon. Well, Susan, on the other hand, just might be willing to have breakfast. Let me text her and see. Bread? It's the best I've ever had. <laughs> okay, um, drink your coffee while I go fix your water to bathe so you get ready for work. Okay, babe. Thank That's you. Thank you babe. You're welcome. Do you know, I almost don't even want to leave. Really? If not for the fact that I have to be at the office. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, yeah. baby. Have a nice day at work. I will, thank you. Mm -hmm. See you, you have soon. a good day as well, okay? Okay, here. Yeah. Alright. Bye. Bye.
Hey babe, please are you gonna come early today so I don't miss you too much? Well, I will be back before you know it, okay? Okay. <laughs> I'll take this. Alright, um, do have a lovely day at work. And you too. And see you when you're back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I need to go. Oh, well. I'll be back soon. Alright. Bye. Take care, okay? See you soon. Bye. Fine. The pipe in the kitchen broke today. The AC is not working. We're out of gas and toiletries. Well, my day was a little bit hectic, but I managed. Can't complain. Thank you for asking. I didn't ask. My point exactly. Justin, do you want to make trouble this evening? Hmm? Why are you picking on every little thing I do? Pizzo! If you know you don't want this marriage anymore, just tell me. Let me go back to my parents' house and stay. I beg. Ha! I wish you could just do that and file for divorce while you're at your parents' house because I'm going crazy having to hear that nagging voice of yours every single day. Ah! Uh -uh. What is it? Why do you pick fault on everything I do? Who for my this? Who for my that? Who for my why is the kitchen like this? Who for my why is the house like this? Who for my why is the toilet like this? Who for my why is your hair like this? Why is he house like like a marketplace? Please, oh, ah, uh -uh, what is it? Ah. Uh -uh. <clears throat> so um, when you're done nagging, just let me know how much it will cost to take care of everything, okay? Me nagging. Justin, I'm nagging. If you marry the nagging woman, you not stand here and say this nonsense. It's not your fault. I'm here giving you peace like a river and you stand here, open your mouth and say I'm nagging. Let me just keep quiet. Hmm. Hmm. Jason, I'm nagging. Ha. Okay. <laughs> hey babe, welcome. Thank you. My house. Please sit. Thank you. Um, your house is lovely. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> so what can I offer you? Anything you have is fine. Mm, anything? Anything. All right, give me a minute. OK. OK. There you go. Have it. I don't want it to spill. Alright. Mm. Um, thank you so much. I'll have this later. Okay. Yeah. Mm. So tell me, how is life? Ah, uh, life is good, as you can see. Um. <laughs> ah, Susu. Long time. No. Are you married? No, not yet. Not yet. Babe, what are you waiting for? Mm -hmm. You're not getting any younger. Mm. Thank you for reminding me. So, you guys, do you have any kids yet? 
<sighs> not yet. But we will soon. You know, my husband's work have not given him enough time to work on that, but we will soon. Hmm. Okay, so your husband, what does he do? He's an entrepreneur. Hmm. And you don't work anymore? I heard you were working for a company back then. <sighs> Babe, work stress. I had to quit and be a stay-home wife. Mm. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> okay, have your drink. Um, I will have that later for now. I've missed you so much, so I just want to catch up. He just wants to gist. <laughs> he just wants to talk to you. <laughs> so, so. Mm -hmm. Um, if you don't mind me asking, why is this your choice of hairstyle? This hair? You don't like it? Not like I don't like it, but um, the, the pictures, this one on Instagram and the person that I'm looking at right now, they're both completely different. What happened, babe? What do you mean? You haven't been active on social media lately. And you have not posted in months. Do you just lock yourself in the house like a village mama? Uh, I see. You're pregnant. <laughs> no. <laughs> I wish. This man won't even touch me. You mean your husband? Yes. He's extremely busy on some contracts he got for months now. Is everything all right with you and your husband? Come on, Ufama. You know you can tell me anything. Have I ever betrayed you with your secret back then in school? No. You have always been there. Susan, everything is not okay. I don't know what got into him after we got married. So, what happened? The expectation was so high. He wanted me to be this perfect wife that never gets anything wrong. When I decided to quit my job, he he told me he thought I was ambitious and resourceful, that he didn't expect me to just quit my job like that and become a stay-home wife. <sighs> oh, babe, must everybody have a dream? Eh? Besides, must I work when I got married to a rich man? Mm. My dear, my husband just wants me to work and suffer. So, because you don't work anymore, that's the reason you don't take care of yourself? I take care of myself. Oh, come on, Ufoma. Look at you now. And the pictures you posted months on Instagram. And tell me you are saying the truth. Forget all those edited pictures. <gasps> Wait. Just hold on. This, this, was how you were looking when he met you, right? Yes. <laughs> and you wonder why he haven't touched you. Tell me, when last did you guys make love? We have not been getting along lately. Ufuma, you can give yourself all the excuses you want in the world. But if you don't put your shit together, you're going to let your husband slip through your fingers and run to another woman. My husband can never cheat on me. Oh, come on. He's a man, Ufoma. If his needs are not met in the house, trust me, he's going to get it out there. My dear, 
not all men likes this artificial look. That is what I am saying. Nobody is saying you, you should be too artificial. Tell me, um, what is this on your head, this cornrow? How long have you had it for? I couldn't help but notice that your parts are washing away. And from the look of your feet, I could tell that you've not had your manicure or pedicure in months. No man, I repeat, no man wants to come back home to his fellow man, my sister. So, if you don't get your shit together, you're going to drive your husband out there to have a side chick. As if he, he doesn't even have one already. Yes. Get your shit together. Get it together. Nobody, Nobody is saying, saying you, you should be, be too artificial. artificial. Tell me, Tell me um, what, is what is this on your, on your head? head? This, this cornrow. How, how long, long have you had, had it? For? I couldn't I help but notice that, that your parts are washing, washing away. away. And, and from the from look, look of your, your feet, feet, I could tell, tell that you've not had, had your manicure or pedicure in months. No man, I repeat, no man wants to come back home to his fellow man, my sister. So, if you don't, you don't get, get your shit together, together, you're going, you're going to, to drive your husband out there to have a side check. check. If he, he doesn't, he doesn't even, even have, have one already. already. No. <laughs> my husband can never cheat on me. He loves me so much to even consider it. Hey, babe. Yeah? So, how did your project go? Oh, um, we are actually done with the groundwork and everything will kick off officially next week. Aww, I'm so happy for you. Well, thank you, babe. You're welcome. You know, you, um, you've been a huge support system this past week. And because of that, I actually have something for you to give you this later, but I figured I might as well give it to you now. Really? Okay. Babe, you, you got me a necklace. Oh my God. <laughs> Do you like it? It is beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome, babe. And that is not all. No, you're joking. Is this for you? What's this? Open it and find out. <sighs> you are joking. Babe, five million. <laughs> yes. What am I supposed to do with this? Well, that's the fun part. Anything you want. You know, change your wardrobe, get a new hair, oh buy a new God, bag. Oh my God, baby. Thank you. No. No. Oh my God, baby. You deserve it. Thank you. You're welcome, man. <laughs> I'm five million richer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what is going on? This bed, this room has not been this tidy in in months. What is what is going on? What is this woman up to? Ufama? Ufama? Yes, baby. I'm in the bathroom. Welcome. Uh, thank you. Baby. Last time she called me, baby, was only two weeks after our wedding. Uh, what are you doing in there? I have a surprise for you, baby. A surprise. Surprise. Should I be scared? Hey.
Um. Um. Are you ready for this sex and this? Oh. Uh, wait, 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 um, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I, it's been, wait, 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 wait just, just, look, I've, I've had a very, very long, hectic day and I'm, I'm super exhausted. I just, I, I just need to take a shower and then, and then go to sleep, right? That's all, like, I, I'm, Won't you at least eat? Um, yeah, about that. I I I already ate. Uh -huh. Yes, I ate out at a, a fast food a restaurant. So don't worry about food, okay? Just I just need to. Uh, Going to bed already? Okay. Well, I'll I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Have a good night. I love you too. your shits together, together? You're, you're going to let your husband, husband slip through, through your fingers and run to another, another man. man.
Did he come to see here this early? I knew he was not going to work. I'll go to the car and wait for him. to see before going to work. It must be a side chick. about it. She might be of help. And so you think your husband has a side chick? Yes, Susan. What makes you think that? The writing has been on the wall. But I didn't want to believe it. For months, my husband has not had breakfast or dinner in this house. All it does is to go out in the morning and come back late in the night. Really? Yes. I feel like I'm living with a total stranger that goes out and come back and then sleep on the couch. Wait. Your husband sleeps on the couch? Yes. For how long has he been sleeping on the couch? Months? Two? Three? I don't know. Oh, Fama. How did you let this slide this far? My husband thinks I'm a loser for quitting my job. And somehow I believe him. I thought I was hurting him. I never knew I was hurting myself. And with this you think he's having an affair? Yes, you know, I tried to put him in the mood last night, you know. He told me he was tired and then he went into the bathroom. <sighs> then I heard him making a call and knew he was talking to his side chick. In the morning, I followed him out. And guess what? My husband is seeing someone. Wait. You mean you followed him to his side chick's house? Yes. And you saw the both of them? Uh, well, he went inside, stayed for a while, and came out alone. <sighs> well, it's a good thing. You could be wrong about him having a side chick. And trust me, if he had found out that you stopped him this morning, he may not have been happy with it. I don't want to find out my husband is hanging out with one cheap side chick. So 
sisters and what do I do? Well, first thing first, you need to remind him about the Omalicha woman that he got married and fell in love with. How do I do that? Well, it is so simple. By going back to how you used to be. Ufaman, you know who that person is. So, wherever you may have lost her to, and bring her to reclaim your man before this, this side chicks takes him away before it is too late. What would I have done without you? Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. I got you, sister. I know. <laughs> wow, thank you. Welcome home, baby. Are you okay? Okay, uh, who exactly are you and what did you do to the other Ufoma? <laughs> Seriously, babe, like, look at this place. It's, it's amazing. It's, it's, it's perfect. It's spotless. I don't even remember this rock being this nice. And, and look at you. you. You look like the woman that I fell in love with. You're back. Yes, baby. I'm back. Wow. Wait, does this does this mean that you're going to go back to your work and pursue your dreams again? My dreams? Yes. You're my dream, baby. I'm ready to start a family with you. You know, have a little bundle of joy playing around this house causing little havoc here and there look I, I hear you babe and that's my dream too but i'm sure that there's so much more you want out of life than being a stay-at-home wife and, and mom you know something that you wanted to achieve even before you got married right justin do you have a problem with me being a stay-at-home wife no. babe it's Look, it's, it's just that I don't want you to wake up one morning and feel like your life was stolen away from you and that you never got the chance to live your dreams. That's all. What? <sighs> Look, come, sit. Just sit. Come here. Look, I, I know I never got to tell you this, but... When my sister and I were 10 and 14 years old, respectively, my mom, she, um, she left us and my dad and ju just took off. You know, according to my dad, she, she always dreamt of being a TV broadcaster and she was well on her way to achieving that. But she met my dad and they fell in love. You know, and he got married. And afterwards, my... And afterwards, my dad told her to stop working. You know, that he was going to take care of her. And when they had kids, my sister and I, that he was going to provide for her, provide for us, made sure we didn't lack anything. And even though she really did not want to do that, she obliged because she was in love. So she stopped working and then she had me and then my sister and everything was fine or so it seemed but she was never really happy. Even as a kid I could tell and eventually when she couldn't live the lie anymore one morning she just, she just took off. She left you and your sister. Without looking back? Yes. Years passed and 
we eventually heard that she remarried to some top shot TV executive and they run a TV company together. Look, babe, my point is I just don't want you to wake up one morning. Jason, I am not your mother. I, I know that, but everyone wants something out of life, something much more, something bigger than them. You know, something that they can do that people will remember them for when they're not here anymore. Something that they would like to achieve. So having a child and building a home is not an achievement? Of course it is to some level, but... No. Okay. What if, God forbid, you know, something happens to me and I'm not here anymore? How are you going to take care of yourself and our kids if you're not financially independent? I just... I just don't want you to depend on me financially, you know? Because you can't take care of me, is that what you're saying? No, explain, I don't understand. What are you saying? We're never going to be on the same page on this, are we? What do you mean by that? I mean you're never going to see things from my perspective, are you? You know what? You just ruined my mood. Ufama. Stuff. Not tonight, okay? Baby, you've been saying this for months. This night is the night. Hmm? Wait, just wait, just just stop, stop. For my sake, stop, stop. What is your problem? What is wrong with you? What is wrong with me? What is wrong with me is that I want you to feel me. Is that a crime? Look, I can see that you're in the mood for an argument, but guess what? I am not, all right? So I'm just going to do myself a favor and go and crash in the living room because I'm, I'm not about to do this with you. What is your problem? Who is she? Beg your pardon? Your side chick. Who is she? <laughs> Say what now? Oh, please don't deny it. You're losing your mind. I'm, I'm losing my mind? Yes. Really? You're being completely delusional for accusing me of infidelity. You know what you should be doing? You should be focusing on getting yourself together, as opposed to sitting here, getting me upset and making me regret this marriage thing we're doing. That is what you should be doing. Is he regretting getting married to me? There's no doubt he's seeing someone. I'm not going to sit here and watch some low life side chick take my man and ruin my marriage. You had changed up and not in its appalling. I wonder how we even got here. I made a mistake because no, I regret. I should have listened when they told me I wonder how we ended up here You're not the woman I knew You're not the woman I knew
He has his own key. Up sleepy head. Uh -huh. mm. Seven AM already. Yes. Is that your door? So, you could be knocking on your door at this time of the morning. It's probably one of my neighbors. <sighs> okay, don't worry. Okay. Is your husband and secondly he told me him and his wife are separated isn't it true Jason yes that's right Jason you lied to her so that you can sleep with her first of all I did not lie to her right you and I are separated even though we live under the same roof we are separated Jason what are you saying look when was the last time we did anything as a couple no, tell me, when was the last time? When was the last time you supported me as your husband? When was the last time you said, Oh, honey, how is work going? How are you faring? Is everything good? You never ask. You never ask because you don't care. It doesn't matter to you. The only thing that matters to you is you. Before I married you, you were everything I wanted in a woman. You were near perfect. And then we got married. What happened? You morphed into someone that I don't even recognize. I've been so unhappy. And now it's me I'm, I'm my side chick, as you've called her. Everything that I want. Thanks to you. What now? Your neighbor again? Maybe. Yes, how may I help Hello. you? Hello. Is this Susan's apartment? Yes, who are you? I'm her husband. Husband? You. Pe Patrick. You. I told you I will find you. Patrick. I told you I will Patrick. make you pay for everything you stole from my company. Patrick. If, if, Patrick. if you touch me. Patrick, please. Yeah, hello? Hey. Okay, yeah, officer, this is the place. Uh, just come up. Sorry. If you touch me, I will. Excuse, excuse me. What exactly is, is going on? Me too. Susan, I need you to give me answers. What is going on right now? Hey, which part of you and your wife should leave? Don't you get it? Leave! I have bigger problems to solve right now. Leave, Jason. Leave! I hope please. you rot in jail, you snake. Let's talk about this in the bedroom. Bedroom, please, please. Let's talk in the bedroom. Make sure you bedroom. All the money you spend. Let's talk in the bedroom, please. Bedroom, you are home. It's a poison how I ended up here. I look at you and wonder where the other you. I filed for a divorce. Jason. Jason, you can't throw away everything we had. Look, nothing we had was real. That's not true. 
Before my, I thought I knew you, but I was wrong. But I know you. Do you? Yes. You are kind. You're caring. Tolerant. You are a very supportive man. Not every man wants to see their woman win. Some men will go to the extreme so that their woman will be so dependable on them. But you? You would rather see that I become independent and have my freedom. I never knew I was so blessed to have you until now. Jason, please. I want to do this marriage with you. I promise to be everything a wife should be to her husband and more. Please. Please. I'm sorry for my wife. I, I can't do this. I can't do this. Not, not knowing that I've broken my marriage vows to you and to God. I hurt you deeply, even though I know you would never say it. And scars like that, they, they don't go away easily. So I think it's best I just leave and stay and be a reminder of a broken trust. Jason, no. We can make this work just like our parents do. When things are broken, they fix it. Let's fix us, please. Please. I'm sorry I cheated on you. I'm sorry I drove you away. I'm sorry. You weren't the lovely woman that I knew before. You had changed up. By the way, you smell really good again. <laughs> Women, marriage is not a retirement, and having children does not mean losing your identity. If you forget who you were before your marriage, chances are your husband too will forget the woman he fell in love with before your marriage. Marriage is work, so be the center and the only chick by taking care of yourselves for your men, or you will keep losing your men to the chicks that know how to take care of themselves. Surprising how